So this is a testosterone update, which means it almost inherently needs a trigger warning because I will be talking about my body and I will probably be talking about dysphoria. And since I didn't script this and I don't know exactly what I get, I'm going to say, I think I'm going to go from head to toe in that order and then skip to feelings. So head. Um, you know, I don't know if my hairline has changed because I shaved it all off around the time that I started tea, but I feel like my hairline is somewhat masculine. My jawline has definitely changed, notably. I have acne. Oh my goodness. Mostly just on my face right now, though, which is nice. Head. Um, not much changes to the upper body. There's a little bit of fat redistribution. Nothing super noticeable. Um... Oh, testosterone update, I'm 15 days on T, sorry. Mid-body, not too many changes. Uh, there's a little teeny bit more hair on my stomach coming out from like the line, the line in the middle, I guess. Uh, trigger warning, private area. So I experienced some thickening of the clitoris, I guess, in my private area. I've also experienced just that I'm aroused all the time and I'm asexual, so that looks a little different for me than it would for a lot of people. I've also experienced hair growth. I have hair in my behind. This is one of the changes I was looking forward to the least, and it's one of the first changes that happened. So, bleh. No change in my thighs as far as hair goes. I think I've noticed a bit of reduction in stretch marks on T. Um, lower legs definitely have more hair and hair coming in in patches and thickening where it wasn't before. Um, also my hands. My hands, I don't think you can see because it's just like peach fuzz, but there's definitely more of it than there was before. So that's a thing. Um, I get really nauseated after my shots. And I'm trying to write it off as unrelated, but it's happened every single shot so far. I always throw up. So I'll have to talk to my doctor about that. My voice has not exactly dropped, but instead of going, like, here's my midline, and instead of going up into my midline in speech, now it goes down into my midline in speech. Or that's kind of how my friends have described it. Um, dysphoria. So dysphoria has been interesting because a lot of the time I'm like, I'm on T, so all is right with the world. And if I pretend my boobs aren't there, I could pass as like a middle school boy, which is an interesting place to be. But I identify as gender non-binary. And so I'm really worried that if I can't do low dose T long term, as I pass the range where my gender identity falls because it does flow a little and start looking more and more masculine. Like I know the dysphoria will be less than it was when I looked really female identified at birth, but I'm worried about a ramp back up in dysphoria as I start to look more masculine. Um, yeah, that's the testosterone update. There's still the changes that were there before. I smell different. I sweat more. My pee smells different. My Personal area smells different. I'm still pretty tired. Oh, I'm ravenous. I'm so freaking hungry. And I'm pretty tired, like, wanting to sleep more. But I have more energy as far as exercise. I can do more before I'm out of energy. Uh, additionally, I'm ravenous. I'm tired. Oh, mood swings. Holy crap. I forgot how awful they were the first puberty. Um, I don't even think I can post that on YouTube. There were some negative coping mechanisms that are legal but not healthy that I used during my first puberty that I'm finding myself slipping back into. I'm going to need to talk to my doctor and my psychiatrist if the mood swings don't mellow out because this is insane. But. But overall, I'm really happy to be on T. I'm really happy that changes are happening. Um, the changes that I was looking forward to the least are happening first, but that's just the way the cookie crumbles in order to be comfortable in my own skin. So that's that. That is two weeks and one day on testosterone. See everybody.